Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love and general opportunity tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you are fine. I hope you're well. I hope you are doing great. This is for my fellow Scorpio. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please, please, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Scorpio, all of the details is down in the description box below, okay? In the description box below, you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. All other services that I offer outside of YouTube, it is in the website. So go to the website to check out the manifestation items, the private reading, the extended reading, and the blog. All right? I'm a Scorpio too. So, um, I very much resonate with my own reading. Not when I'm, not when I ask my guide, but during live video. <laughs> Scorpio, what can I get for you? What is the message for you? What's the message for Scorpio, please? What is the weekend reading? What is the love message and general situationship reading for Scorpio this weekend? What's ready for them to know? And meant for them to know at this time of the day or week. Okay. This is for Scorpio. What can I get for school? You've got a two of cups. Nice. Okay. I feel a lot of love in here. Um, okay. Okay, Scorpio. What can I get for Scorpio, please? What is the love and general opportunity reading for Scorpio? First card, Scorpio, is you've got here. You've got a king of cups in upright position. Let's look at that. I feel like this is involving overseas, a relationship over, overseas, okay? A relationship that sets sailing, that keeps, you know, back and forth situation. There's a wave of emotions attached to the King of Cups. Let's clarify that. The Queen of Wands, hot and cold, the Ace of Pentacles, you'll get there. Um, you are involved in a situation, a love situation where it is hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. The bottom line I'm getting in here, Scorpio, is that this person is in love with you. They're quite um, insecure. Okay, This is your person, King of Cups. They're hot and cold, hot and cold. One day they could be quiet and the other day they could be all around you. You could be in a relationship or you could be in a getting to know situation. But one thing is for sure, this person is wanting an Ace of Pentacles with you, okay? This is for keeps. This is a person who's quite insecure. That's why when they feel like you, Scorpio, if you're busy, if if you're acting a bit aloof, they will mirror you, okay? You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, but it's on and off, hot and cold, but it can be fixed. At the end of the day, I feel like this person, they just want to get your attention, Okay? The reason why this person is creating drama or they're, they're, they're creating a bit of situation, you know, they're acting cold because they want your attention. It's like a little kid who's playing tantrum with their mother, okay? But at the end of the day, this person is the happiest if they're with you, okay? Ace of Pentacles. I really sense a very good vibe with you and this person it's just that they're not perfect and that's how they express love and to be wanted okay yeah i really feel like if this person is hot and cold it's so quickly for you and this person to retrieve one another it's so easy for you and this person to if you and this person for example today feeling aloof or cold um it's it's easy to bounce back from you know from from how you were um, yeah, it's, 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 it's the imperfection of you in this, that sometimes, you know, they play hot and cold, they play Cupid, and then sometimes it could be you, but at the end of the day, Ace of Pentacles, hand in hand, dirty or clean, they are with you, dirty or clean, they're solid with you, because this is, this could be a water sign, that's why they're quite emotional, Okay. The next reading, Scorpio, is you've got the Hierophant card in reverse. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Let's clarify that. Five of Cups. I think this is a breakup. If you've dealt with a breakup, Scorpio, a breakup 
you're getting there you are close to really you know um closing the loop because in here in the past you are so sad you are still holding into the memories of you and this person but you're not you started to laugh you started to appreciate life and daily activities you started to forget them you started to be happy on your own you started to be happy on your own bubble so keep going i really feel like this is a breakup this is a rejection or this is something that you're dealing with for quite so long now where you keep meeting um you keep meeting the wrong person or people that's not available to commit um it is you're gonna get there you're gonna get to a point where you will create your own bubble and no one can pass here in this bubble if they don't pass the requirement that you, that you want them to be okay you are creating a requirement you know this <clears throat> excuse me the failure that you have experienced from the past it will allow you to create a solid foundation or a solid um you know you're starting to shape um people in relationship and because of that like you're creating um you're creating a bubble to protect yourself from people who is unavailable look at you okay you'll you'll be happy soon again so enjoy this moment things are gonna be Things are going to be colorful with you in a personal note. Look at that. Um, yeah, I really feel like if if you don't have any love, romantic situation or relationship right now, keep moving, keep evolving. You know, you're being advised to like wear colorful clothes because it's going to put the vibration up of your mood. And if you're happy, you are more attracted to other people, more friends, with more friends, more new friends, you are, you know, you're next in line to connect that new new romantic person. I honestly feel like around October month, you know, um, and there's also a party that you will attend, a 21st birthday party of someone or 20, 21 years of celebration or a 21st birthday party. You're going to attend something in there and um or it's it's a it's a it's an occasion where it's quite festive like hawaiian theme something like summary some summary or summer um or something colorful to dress i think there's a love opportunity in there okay so enjoy life this person in the past it's behind you now all of the bad memories it is there it was there to to shape your thinking your emotional expectation and to make you a different person you know to create your requirement the right requirement for you okay so the next reading is you've got a two of cups scorpio let's clarify that you've got a queen of wands in reverse sorry king of wands in reverse the three of cups um you could be dating right now you could be dating right now or you are in a relationship um if there was a recent challenges king of wands in reverse you will have an exclusive talk again okay i really feel like if you are in a relationship or if you are in a if you're in a relationship or you're dating or getting to know someone right now you're mutually agreeing into something but there is a block or there's an issue you will get to talk about that in the right time you know three of cups three of cups for me is an energy of this is like happy times this is exclusively just you and them and it's about a problem okay so right now if you're dating or getting to know and you're not official go with the flow because what's important is that you've got a spark with one another go with the flow there's a spark with one another there will come a time that you and this person will have will will speak the truth will speak the the feelings will you'll have a moment you'll have a moment to speak the issue and then transform the conversation into something of more uh, confirmation. A more official two of cups is coming your way. All right. So go with the flow. Go hand in hand. Uh, go and um, enjoy every day. Enjoy each moment that you're talking with this person. That time will come. That time will come where you and this person needs to define this two of cups. It needs to be. It, it will. 
it is a talk where you guys will be needing this official. There's going to be a trigger, a king of wands. It could be an argument. It could be a person from the past. But there is a trigger where you and this person will then have to talk, you know, for example, why are you jealous we're not official? Then we'll make it official. So you'll get to that point. So right now, two of cups, go with the flow. Um, talk, enjoy each moment. Your time will come. Um, so don't force, don't manipulate. Just, you know, enjoy each moment that you and this person is talking or talking in conversation. Um, yeah, I really feel like this is pretty much end of this month for some of you or watch out for april and may exclusive talk okay the next card is you've got the six of cups in upright position clarifying that with the tower card and the four of cups i think someone is missing you scorpio there's a person that you met um last year or further down the line you know um they miss you but they're not really I think for some of you, they're dropping by at their, you know, they're driving past your house. For some of you, this person is talking to you. This is an ex. They miss you. They kind of regret they did, that they did not put a lot of effort um, towards your relationship or towards the getting to know. It's a person from the past. It's a person who regrets that they did not value you, Scorpio. There's a lot of regrets. They feel like it's too late and... Um, they're looking you up online. Um, I think you will feel that this person is manifesting you because you would see their plate number or you would see um, glimpses, glimpses or, you know, symbols and pictures that would represent this person, okay? They miss you. If you're thinking that someone is missing me from the past, you are correct. They miss you. I don't see any physical calling, texting you, but they miss you. There's a lot of um, signs and symbols that's drawing you that this person is probably thinking about you. For some of you, it's very specific that, you know, you dream of this person, okay? And then you've got the two of wands in reverse, the eight of cups. Okay, you've got the two of wands in the re reverse, eight of cups, the hangman. Um, I think someone walk away from you, Scorpio, um, this is a connection from last year and then you reconnected again this year. They walk away. They're actually regretting that they walk away and they would have a 360 degree of turn of event. So they will come back. They will stop walking away and they will, f they will face you. They fear you. There's a fear of, um, the fear coming from this person is that, you know, um, they have to you know they have to let go of their ego if they come back to you and i think they will do that that's their fear is they don't want to be embarrassed but the only way to get to you is to remove or swallow their ego okay because they walk away they change their mind and they kind of regret walking away without without giving you a fight look at them that there is an awakening in them that and number four, they realize that how stable you are together. You know, how come they have let you go? You are an awesome person. They realize it now. I think this person is dating. They're hopping, you know, hopping from one relationship to another. And they realize that I'm tired. This person is like in the early 30s or like mid 30s, early 30s or late 30s where between 31 to 38 i think that's their age 31 to 38 and they're wanting to really take care of a relationship and um you know they want to settle soon you know they want to get married you know have family but how can they do that if they don't have a permanent you know a consistent relationship and they tried they tried scorpio looking into other you know exploring other person people and you know they realized that i'm tired I've got someone great, but I've left her or him behind. And that's you. Because when they left you, there's still fire burning. Look at that. So I see them coming back. They have to say sorry. They need to face that fear. Okay. Now the next reading is Five of Pentacles. Ooh, Page of Wands. Wow, good news. Again, another return. Okay. Oh my God. 
all of your exes is returning. I think I have a, I have a, <laughs> I had last year I had the same reading where pretty much it's all a return from the past. Three return, okay. So all of the people you dated from the from the past, pretty much from from last year, they will return all together now. All together now. It's a return. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. This one somehow is specific. This is a Capricorn Taurus Virgo who abandoned you. They will return. Um, they will message you, hey, hi, you know, trying to make you laugh, trying to connect with you. Same, same as last year, you know. So if nothing happens, hi, hello blah 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 they would like to retain their position they would like to return and retain their position they would like to camp you know you know they would like to pursue you make you happy cheer you up and then go camping maybe you had a you had a bubble with this person maybe during lockdown they stayed a couple of days in your house but they will return this is quite specific this is a capricorn taurus virgo so a lot of return, okay. good luck Scorpio, it seems to be, but some of you this will carry over up until April month. Good luck for some return, okay, unexpectedly, it's raining men, it's raining X. So thank you guys, I'll see you soon, bye bye.